Hello, my name is James, and today I'm going to be your inspector. Today we're going to talk a little bit about an installation of a 4-inch riser location with primary underground. And at the end of this video, I'm going to speak a little bit about its components that's attached to the pole, and also introduce to you a 2-inch riser primary as well. So stick with me, and we'll be able to get through this, and you'll know some more about our standards. Okay, so what we have here is a four inch galvanized steel riser attached to our utility pole. So it's a common misconception that contractors are allowed to come in and just stub up this riser with nothing in its place to be able to attach to. Although that was common practice quite a long time ago, now we require this pole to be in place first before you do any digging, any trenching to be able to stub up this riser. So now that that's clarified, let's talk a little bit about the components that you're seeing here behind me. This right here is a steel 10 foot stick, a four inch galvanized. And what we have attached to the pole is what we call a standoff bracket. We have one at the top, one at the bottom. At the bottom, we have it attached to a four inch, 36 inch galvanized sweep. And on the end of this galvanized sweep, we have a coupling. And on the end of that, we have a five foot stick of galvanized pipe. And on the end of that pipe, we have a four inch PVC, what they call FA fitting or female adapter. We'll talk a little bit about that more in a second. But that is how you transition from galvanized to PVC, going back to either a junction cabinet or possibly even a transformer location. What I have here behind me is the four inch standoff that is on the pole here. And this right here is what I'm holding is the four inch standoff. So whenever you go to pick up all of your pieces and parts, this is something that I will come out or someone that's doing this job will come out and deliver whatever bolt it is you need to be able to attach to our pole. So you'll be getting uh, some type of through bolt. So plan on having a drill that can drill through our pole. So what we have here is you'll be able to drill through the pole. And on this bracket, this through bolt goes through the pole like so and then this bolt through here will be nailed to the pole on the bottom. And this is to help keep this secure so it's not gonna be moving around. Now on the end of this, as behind me as you can see, he has this aluminum bracket here that goes around the face. It holds on the four inch galvanized, but these can also be up to six inches as well. And it's really simple to put these on. Just loosen up these bolts and this is a channel. And this slides right on through and you just tighten it up. So I also wanted to mention this coupling and what you'll see on the print is this coupling looks like it's above ground. These are also made to be buried below ground. Because of the depth in which you had to come in here, this coupling will be below ground. And this right here, the, the bracket itself that's attached to the pole, on our standard you'll see it being 14 inches above ground. That's a good starting point. We like to have them at least 12 inches above ground. 14 is perfect, but if we have them at 18, we like that as well and the top cut or the top bracket will be at the same distance. So what we prefer to see is the bottom bracket, whatever elevation or whatever distance you have from the ground here being the same distance as the top of this 10 foot piece that's attached to the pole. So we've talked a little bit about some of the components that we see attached to the pole behind me and some of the things that's already in the ground. So now we're gonna do a little bit of measuring to show you what it is that I need to see when I show up on your job site to be able to pass your inspection of a four inch primary riser. So what we're looking at here is this 36 inch steel galvanized sweep in the ground. I wanna be able to make sure that, first of all, you use the proper sweep. We'll talk a little bit about that in a second. Sometimes I see a 24 inch radius sweep. And what I have on the end of this 36 inch radius sweep is the five foot stick of galvanized. So what I'm gonna be also doing is measuring our ditch depth. This contractor's done an excellent job and he's got us to where we need to be at four foot deep. If this was going directly into a junction cabinet sitting right next to the pole, which we have done many times, this is exactly the depth in which you would need to have it at four foot. There are times where you only need to have that 36 inch cover or a 40 inch ditch for everything to sit in there if you're gonna be going a distance of less than 100 feet away from the pole to a junction cabinet or to a transformer. Because you can taper your ditch from that area back to the transformer or junction cabinet down to that four foot depth that you need to have in order to come into that location. So on all of our facilities, we also require some type of caution tape to be buried inside the ditch. 
Our standard requires two foot of cover or 12 inches from the top. But really all it is that we are mainly concerned about is that it's placed on top of the facility with some type of cover so that whenever someone comes and digs it up, they're gonna know that they're gonna hit this tape first. This type of tape is a foil type tape, which can be located by itself if, if there's an area stuck out through a junction cabinet or something that's above the ground because this is a conductive type tape. But just a typical plastic berry tape is all we require that has some kind of indication that electric line is buried here. So at the end of this video, I want to be able to cover a two inch primary riser installation as well. And everything is applicable in what we've talked about with the four inch installation process. The only real difference is, is maybe your ditch depth is gonna be just a little shallower. And also this bracket right here, this is a two inch standoff that we issue with you as well. And it attaches to the pole a little differently by using these hard heads or these lag bolts that we talked about. So it really is a simple installation. You just take this thing apart and you're gonna place your riser in there, your 36 inch riser with your 10 foot stick of galvanized. And this will go to the pole and this here will just simply be with a hammer nailed to the pole. And then everything else just goes right up inside here. You bring your strap back around as tight as you can and tighten it up. And it's about as simple as that. So that's a two inch primary riser installation as well. So as always, be sure and call in locates Allow yourself three days for all the facilities to be located. Be sure and allow us to set this pole ahead of time. And if you have any questions, you can call 863-9000 or also call our developer services number at 831-8888. And again, my name is James. Please be safe out there and take care of each other.